my old lady took a trip down to L.A. Um, for a weekend just to watch stand-up comics. I hadn't even been to a comedy club yet. Um, and it's a Tuesday night in L.A., and I go to this comedy store on Sunset, and Joe Rogan is on stage. Um, Joe Rogan is bombing this night. Mm. Not necessarily bombing, but not funny this night. And at the time, I don't know what working on new material is on off night. I think people paid to come. He's supposed to be funny. But no, he comes to the club every night, works out new material, shit hit or miss, to build an hour. I don't know any of this. I'm seeing him be very mediocre. And I'm like, I can be mediocre like that. They're giving him money to be mediocre like this. I could do this. I fucking got inspired by him yeah, doing sure, bad. Sure. And I went to my hotel, started writing jokes and shit, and I was I was lit. I was like, nigga, I'm a comedian. There's nothing you're going to tell me. I called my <laughs> brother in Canada from a hotel in Hollywood and paid $200 for a phone call because I'm so pumped up that I just need to talk to him, and I'm moving here. 45 days later, I lived in L.A. Um, I lied. I got an apartment. I saved a certain amount of bread that... Um, a decent amount of bread. I don't want to say too many numbers, but I saved a decent amount of bread. So I remember and you telling me you took a stack of bread. I took a stack of bread. Which, which is money for, yes. for, for, for some who may not know. Mm -hmm. And just got, just fucking and left. And me and my wife drove to LA and found an apartment. Like we went, took a trip to go find an apartment in LA. For you to um, become to, a stand-up comedian. For stand -up us to me become a stand-up comedian. Who the fuck are you? And she works at Wells Fargo. Where